Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now going to be answering a question from um, exercise 6C from chapter 6 of the P4 International A Level textbook from Pearson's at Excel. And this is question number 6. So, question 6 from exercise 6C from chapter 6 um, of P4. And this question is about integration by substitution. So they're asking us to use this substitution, u squared equals e to the power of x minus 2. So use this substitution to, to find the value of this and show that it becomes something of this form and find the values of a, b, c, and d, which are all integers to be found. So whenever you have to integrate by substitution, um, the, the way I like to set it out is I like to think, okay, I've got to integrate what they gave me, which I'm going to call y. So this is y. Okay, I'm going to integrate y with respect to x. That's what we have to do. That's our objective to, to, to find this. And the limits are in terms of x. I'll put x1 and x2. And what we want to do is we want to use a substitution. So we're going to introduce a third variable u into this. So we're going to have to rewrite it as y dx du du y dx du du that will give me the same thing as y dx but now everything has to be in terms of u including the limits so i'm going to call this u1 and u2 so if i can now replace y uh, rewrite y in terms of u and, and and write down dx du in terms of u and multiply them together and integrate that with respect to u with the limits also in terms of u i will have got my answer for the question. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write what y is and see if I can rewrite it in terms of u. So y equals e to the power of 4x over e to the power of x minus 2. And we have to use the substitution u squared equals e to the power of x minus 2. So straight away I can see the denominator I can replace it with u squared. Okay that's e to the power of x minus 2. How about the numerator? Well that's e to the power of 4x. Here I have e to the power of x minus 2 equals u squared. So let me first of all add 2 to both sides. So I have e to, the power of, uh, e to the power of x equals u squared plus 2. Now I want to find e to the power of 4x. If I take e to the power of x and I raise it to the power of 4, that's going to give me e to the power of 4x. Okay, because you have to multiply the powers. And e to the power of 4x would be basically u squared plus 2. Okay, all squared, because this is going to be the same as that. Right, this is e to the power of x all, all to the sorry to the power of four. U squared plus two raised to the power of four. This is u and this is to the power of four. So I can replace the y therefore with um, u squared plus two to the power of four over u squared. So that's the first step. So I can say this is equal to I've got my u squared plus two raised to the power of four over u squared. That's the y part. So the y part's done. Now I've got to do the dx du part. Okay, so I've got to multiply this now by dx du. So dx du. So we've got we've got uh, u squared equals e to the power of x minus two, and I've also got e to the power of x equals u squared plus two. Just rearranging that. Now I can do this in two ways, I guess. If I find um, if I rewrite this in, in in index form, I think that might be the easier way. Rewriting this in index form. Remember, this is like a to the power of b equals c. So what we're going to do is we can say this is the same as, um, if I want to rewrite this in, in, in log form, sorry, I want to write this in log form, okay, I can say this is the same as saying, um, you know, this is like the base a, so it's log to the base a of c equals b. Okay, you can say that, um, or you could even say take log to the base a of both sides, all right, you have b equals log to the base a of c. Okay, if we do the same thing here, if we take log to the base e of both sides to make uh, x the subject, log to the base e means lin. So we're going to say x equals lin of u squared plus 2. All right, so we want to find dx du, so we can then say dx du using the chain rule is if you differentiate lin of something, it's 1 over the same thing. So we, we differentiate with respect to u. So then we have to multiply by the differential of what's inside the function, which is 2u. So dx du, therefore, is going to be 2u over u squared plus 2. So I can multiply this by 2u over u squared plus 2. 
integrate that with respect to u. Now I've got to deal with the limits now. Um, so we can see that u squared, we have to write, write u um, in terms of um, x. So we've got the two limits are x equals lin 4 and x equals lin 3. So we have x equals lin 4 and x equals lin 3. And we know that u squared equals e to the power of x minus 2. So we can say u is equal to the square root of e to the power of x minus 2. Okay, that's how we can rewrite that. So now we can say when x equals lin 4, that means u is equal to the square root of, now e to the power of lin 4, e to the power of lin 4 is going to give you 4. So that's 4 minus 2. That's going to give you the square root of 2. And you've got here lin 3, that's going to be e to the power of lin 3, which is going to be 3. Uh, 3 minus 2 is 1. So that's going to be the square root of 1, which is 1. So the two limits are root 2 and 1. So you have here root 2 and 1. Okay, somebody might ask, why is that going to be just 4? Because these are inverses of each other. Okay, uh, e to the power of lin 4, e and lin are inverses, so they cancel each other out. So whatever's in here is going to be my answer. We could also do it in another way if you want to, to just confirm it. For example, let me say uh, y equals e to the power of lin 4. And if I take, um, if I, uh, take the lin of both sides, I'll have lin y equals lin 4 times lin e. Okay, using the power law. Now lin e is 1, so lin y equals lin 4, so y equals 4. So we can say the value of this is equal to 4. y is equal to 4. That's another way you could show it. But, uh, you know, you can basically just understand that these are inverses. So you have e to the power of lin 4. The e and lin cancel each other out, leaving you with the 4. Okay, anyway, so we've got our limits now. And now we're going to try to simplify this so that we can now integrate it. So we've got limits root 2 and 1. Now, first of all, u squared plus 2 and u squared plus 2 to the power of 4 will leave you u squared. You have u squared plus 2 to the power of 3 on the top. And this is going to be a 2u. The u cancels from here and the u cancels from there. You're left with a u underneath. Okay, and I'll write the 2 that 2 constant on the outside, integrate that with respect to u. So now this is what I have to integrate. Now to integrate this, there's no direct way of doing it, I think, like uh, re uh, reversing the chain or anything like that. So I'm, I'm guessing the best thing to do here is just expand the bracket. It's only cubed, and then we can integrate each term separately. That's probably the only way to do that, that I can think of right now anyway. So I'm going to expand that bracket. It's a cubed so you're going to have u squared to the power of 3, which is, let me, do, let's, let me do it like u squared plus 2 times u squared plus 2 squared. So I'm going, to, I'm going to square this bracket now. So this is u squared plus 2 plus the square of this. So if I square this, I'm going to square the first term. That's going to be u to the power of 4. Then I'm going to multiply them together and double it. That's 4u to the power of 2 plus 4. And then that's over u. And that gives me 2 times the integral of between root 2 and 1. Now I can expand this bracket. So I have u squared times u to the power of 4 is u to the power of 6. u squared times 4 u squared, which is plus 4 u to the power of 4. u squared times 4, which is plus 4 u to the power of 2. And plus 2 u to the power of 4 plus 8 u to the power of 2 plus 8. All of that over u integrated with respect to u. So let me just separate that. Okay, now we can uh, simplify this a bit more. We can simplify this as root 2 and this is 1. Um, what I can do is, this is going to be, let me simplify it first for cancelling. You're going to have u to the power of 6 on its own. 4u to the power of 4 plus 2u to the power of 4, which is plus 6u to the power of 4. 4u squared plus 8u squared, that's 12u squared um, and plus 8 and all of that over u, integrate with respect to u. Now I can just um, divide all of these terms by u to simplify them. So don't forget the two outside, the root two and the one limits. So that's going to be each of these going to basically divided by u. So you have u to the power of five. Now I need to use a bracket u to the power of five plus six u cubed plus twelve u plus eight over u. Integrate that with respect to u. Now I can integrate each of these terms individually. So once I start integrating, I stop writing the integral sign and I put this square bracket. So this is going to be u to the power of 6 over 6. 
Okay, plus that's going to be 6 u to the power 4 over 4, which is 3 over 2 u to the power 4. Okay, plus 12 u to the power of 2 over 2, which is going to be 6 u squared plus, and this will be 8 times the lin of the modulus of u. And you've got root 2 and 1 as your limits. So now I can substitute root 2 and 1 into this. Don't forget the 2 on the outside. Got the 2 on the outside here. So root 2 goes into, this is going to be 2 to the power of a half to the, to the power of 6. That's 2 cubed, which is 8. 8 over 6 is 4 over 3. Plus, and I'm going to put root 2 into here. So that's going to be root 2, root two to the power of 4. So that's 2 to the power of a half to the power of 4, which is 2 squared, which is going to be 4. So that's going to be 4. So 2 to and 4 cancel gives you 6u to the, sorry, that gives you that's going to be 4, sorry, so that's going to be a 4, 2 and 4 cancel, uh, 2, so 3 times 2 is 6, plus 6u squared, well that will be 6 times just um, root 2 squared, which is 2, that's 12, plus 8 times the lin of 2 to the power of a half, I'll write it like that, minus, and then I'm going to have to put 1 in here, that's going to give me 1 sixth, plus 3 over 2, plus 6, plus 8 lin of 1. Okay, now I can simplify all of this and hopefully get the right answer. Um, this is going to give me, uh, f that's going to give me 18 plus 4 over 3 plus, that's going to be 4 lin 2. This is multiplied by 2 minus, and this is going to give me 0 here. So I'll have, I'll just, I'll just put this in my calculator and work out 6 plus 1, 6 plus 3 over 2. I'll just stick this all in the calculator and get the answer. And hopefully that will be correct. So I got two times, and I have 18 plus four over three plus four lin two, four lin two. Okay, minus. Now open a new bracket. Six plus one over six. Okay, plus 3 over 2. And that will give me, close the bracket and the other bracket. That gives me, ah, it doesn't give me an exact form. Okay, let me just get rid of this. Uh, let me get rid of this lin2 part. I'll get rid of the 4 lin2 part. And then I'll calculate what this is. And then I'll have the lin2 part. That's 70 over 3 plus 4 lin2 times, uh, okay, time, yeah, so 70 over 3 plus um, 8 lin 2, okay, that's going to be 70 over 3 plus 8 lin, th lin, eight lin 2, because you're going to have 2 times this, all of this, 2 times all of that is 70 over 3, and then I have 2 times 4 lin 2, which will be 8 lin 2, okay, so it's 18, so it's basically, that's my answer, I have 70 over 3 plus 8 lin 2. Okay, so adding that and that together, then subtracting all of that, multiplying by 2, gives me 70 over lin 3, and then 2 times 4 lin 2 is 8 lin 2, and there's my answer. Okay, now, how do we check the answer is correct? Okay, how, if we don't have, like, uh, if it's an exam, for example, and you want to make sure the answer is correct, well, we can go back to the original question, and we can put that in a calculator the way it is, in terms of x. And um, 70 over 3, what was the answer we got before? Yeah, that was the exact answer with the lin in there, but it didn't give us in the form we wanted. Okay, this, this doesn't give it in the form that we wanted. That gives us the exact value. So what we can do is we can check to see is this exact value the same? This is the value that we got as a decimal. Is it the same as what we're going to get with this? Okay, when we put this in the integration function, which is here. This will integrate this, but not in algebraically, just numerically. So we have e to the power of 4x divided by e to the power of x, e to the power of x uh, minus 2. Integrate that with respect to x between lin3 and lin4. So I'll lin3 down here, and on top, lin4. Okay, now that should give me the same answer that we got, okay, when we did this. And the exact value of what we got was, 
exactly this 28.875 just to make sure if you want to be sure 70 over 3 plus 8 times lin, 8 of sorry lin 2 okay and that gives us that exact answer the same answer that we got here and here so we know for sure we're correct okay so that's how you can make sure that you haven't made a silly mistake somewhere and you get the exact answer and we have to write it in exact form in this question because it told us to write it in exact form and give the values of those integers a b and c uh, d and integers to be found so we can now state a a a and b are the two fractions c is the multiple thing you're multiplying and d is inside so you can say a is 70 so we can say a is 70 and b is 3 and c is 8 and d is 2 those are the integers that we found okay and we're expressing in that form so there's the answer to that question question number six from exercise c of chapter six p4 ial textbook which was requested by one of the students for me to answer other questions from um, integration by substitution can be found in the uh, playlist that will be down here other questions from the textbook p4 about integration can be found in this playlist over here you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link thank you for watching and see you soon